Hey guys, Coach Travis, and here is your weekly breakdown for competitive programming. So getting into day one, we have an eight-minute EMOM, and that's going to be doing five to eight power snatches. Now we're pairing this with the first day of the week because we already have barbell work that we're doing. And so the goal for this eight minute EMOM is to perform your power snatches working on cycling. So we don't want to necessarily be doing heavy singles or chunks. There should be no reason that you have to put the bar down on these EMOMs. So pick a weight that is somewhat challenging, but is also something that you can hold on to and cycle through with at least five working, trying to get eight um, on the power snatches. Getting into our second day, we've got four rounds of single arm kettlebell thrusters and a 200 meter run. Now in best of the worst, there is an event that has a heavier single arm kettlebell thruster. I know some athletes are working on trying to get that movement and get proficient with it. So this is a way for you to work both sides there with a little bit of cardio um, to give your shoulders a bit of a break. Um, and then kind of push it on the legs to really start to feel that big leg drive into the kettlebell thruster. So four rounds, single arm kettlebell thruster, eight right, eight left, with a 200 meter run after that. Day three, we're going to be doing a 12 minute EMOM of bike calories, 10 to 12 wall balls, row calories, and then some jump rope work. So for this, on these EMOMs, Wherever it says bike calories and row calories, the goal is when you get to the 40 second mark, whatever your calories are at that time, we're going to try to repeat that for the rest of the EMOM. Now, the goal here is to push somewhat hard, knowing that you've got a 20 second break after that. So we don't want to just kind of coast to the 40 second mark. We really want to push hard or pull hard. And when we get to that 40 second mark, we want to try to repeat that, uh, that calorie count either you know, right on or even a calorie more for the rest of the workout. Then we're going to get into um, some wall ball work and some uh, double under, single under. On the wall balls, uh, we're going to shoot for 10 to 12 wall balls, and we want those to be unbroken. So we're going to be able to hit those wall balls without stopping and then allow yourself to rest. And then on our 25 double unders or 50 single unders, again, same thing. 25 double unders as fast as we can trying to go unbroken on those or 50 single unders. If you're in the middle, feel free to try a few double unders and then finish out with single unders. But keep in mind the number of double, number, ugh, number of double unders that you hit on that first round and try to match or beat that for the next two rounds. And then getting into our final day of the week, we've got every 90 seconds times four. So that's a minute and a half, four times. We're gonna be doing 12 American kettlebell swings into a max distance handstand walk. Now, if you can kick up to a handstand and you're still working on taking those steps, this is a perfect time to work on that. Don't think just because you only have one or two steps that you should immediately cut this out. The goal is max effort or max distance. If your max distance is just a couple of steps at a time, that's still okay. If you are not comfortable at all kicking up to a handstand, we're still working on that. Then what I'd like you to do is in that time perform max effort pike push-ups. Now again, that can be one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, whatever your max effort is, get as many as you can in the remaining time up to the minute. That's gonna allow you 30 seconds of recovery time before the next round starts. So even though it's a 90 second block, the final 30 seconds are dedicated rest for all athletes. That way you can shake your shoulders out, take a breath, Get ready to grab the kettlebell and jump back in. So we'll have four rounds of that. Keep in mind, guys, everything that we're programming up through this month and even into next month is geared towards specifically improving on best of the worst movements and jerkapalooza movements. So all of these workouts are specifically built to improve your ability to perform on those workouts. So try not to skip things. I promise you, if you can get this work in, when you get to these comps, it's going to make things so, so much easier. It's going to feel very familiar and you're going to be conditioned for it as best you can be. Hope you guys had a great weekend and I'll see you this week.